Hey there, YouTube. I got a haircut. Now, it's been a while since I've done one of these update things, so I guess I'll update. Um, spring break here at uh, SMT's having their one week spring break, full homework and stuff. I've been doing nothing but that, and uh, I made I did my laundry. I also made a uh, I made a stove, an alcohol burning stove out of the ends of two. Uh, uh, aluminum cans, and I uh, needed nothing more than to burn alcohol. That teenage drug part there. Funky stuff smells like acetone. I don't know why alcohol smells like acetone. I don't know. Once it removes damn polish. Anyways, I've been doing good. Getting over a cold. My girlfriend's in Mississippi with her two sorority friends, having a wonderful time. Um. Well, she's not having too much fun. She's not too sunburned or too soaked from the rain or whatever. I don't know. Um, the Triple E Club, the STM Trader Club, I don't know, we have a lot of names for it, Wowee, for one, um, we're doing pretty well, uh, we had a good meeting last Thursday or so, we got to go on the roof and check out all the antennas and stuff, um, a little bit of history, we used to have a Force 12 Yagi, it was a nice Force 12 Yagi, it had a 40 meter element, and it was like 11 elements in total, and it, had, it was just amazing, until it got demolished by a ice storm. Not that ice storm in particular, but still, Raw is notorious because it's always on that freeze line of, you know, ice storms and stuff. So I took it, fell down, took a couple of dipoles with it, and uh, then we went without a beam for a while. <laughs> but now we have a beam. Actually, we already we already did have a beam, but the SLSRC and Ward Silver donated uh, Cushcraft A3S to the club so that we could uh, put it up. We formerly had a CL36 uh, by, Mo by Mosley, but it uh, it's traps, the uh, little plastic inductors inside the traps, our cans up there, are cracked. Probably due to stress because of ice. Um, we, we, I've seen that it still tunes up 20 meters, uh, 12 meters, or uh, 20 meters, 50 meters, and 10 meters pretty well. So we don't know what that'll do when it's up in the air. So we have a fishcraft that we'll put up there whenever we get tower climbers. Which probably never, because we were supposed to have it done this week, but we still haven't heard from them. Hopefully you saw my previous video, the uh, this first contact video. We got two new licensed amateur radio operators to get their feet wet on HF. Uh, even with Dan's special contact on 10 meters uh, with the Ruba, using his own call sign in the tech portion of that uh, 10 meter band. We submitted it for the ARRL video contest uh, with the theme of first QSO, first contact, and you know, we were definitely destined to win because we had two people getting the first contact on HF and yada yada yada. However, it was like a hundred times millions too long. It was several minutes too long. The, uh, the contest had a rule of five minutes maximum, and we definitely didn't... Uh, Abide to that rule. So we're probably not going to get our $250. That's okay. We had a it's still a really great video of uh, two of the count of two hams getting uh, their first license. All the nervousness, excitement, wonderful, yeah, some great stuff. It's it's really weird how mic fright happens. You know, it's nothing more than talking to two people at once. But you you're you're almost afraid that you're going to break a rule or something. That's what I always thought when I first got on the air. I was so afraid and mic fright. I I just never talked to anybody until I started to open up and you now everybody was like, Hey, Sterling, I'm not sure I'm talking to you. And I was just, see, yada, yada. Or actually, it was K0BZE back then. But, I don't know, great stuff. Um, hope you liked that video. Hope the AWR likes it. Maybe consider us for submission in the future. In the future, or do something or something. I don't know. Um... Also, if you haven't found out, I'm the AWR Youth Editor. Um, my column, first column, my autobiography was published March 15th, and my next one uh, about Elmering is to be published on uh, uh, the 15th of April. Every 15th will be a new column. I hope that will not be too much of a burden for me, because I currently have to write a paper and do some calculus homework, and it's only spring break. Actually, I did already do my calculus homework, because I'm a good kid. But I haven't done writing a paper. Psychology paper for engineering. It's terrible. So anyway, keep watching my videos. I'll try to make more. And uh, um, I'll try not to burn the CCDs out of the cameras I purchase in the future. Um, 
anyways, check out our club website down in the doobly doo. Is that one guy called it? Uh, check out. Uh, I don't know what else there is there. Check out. I don't know. Go play with your ham radio. Seventy three.